So once you've expect, um, sort of inspected your part, the next thing to do is um, remove the any um, support material you've had in there and um, trim off the um, raft or base or whatever uh, you want to call it. So the easiest way to get the base off I found is your standard utility knife. Extend the blade all the way out as far as you, you can get it. And all that means is that when you when you let's see if I can get this right on there so you can see it. Yeah, that's it. When you're when you're cutting it, you can actually push it up. Hopefully, you can see that. So the bed, the blade bends up flush. So you're cutting square down rather than cutting trying to cut at an angle. On some of these, um, where the um, thickness of the bottom bit is say I don't know uh, a mill thick, and your walls only um, we think uh, so the walls two two shells at 0.35, so it's 0.7 mil thick wall. It's quite easy to cut cut away too much of a, a, a bevel and you end up opening the structure as it were. So the easiest way I've found is get one of these exacto knives, a really sharp point on it, yeah? See how nice and, and flexible and bendy it is? And then just hold it and bend it in and just score it a couple of times. It. And again with these nice shapes, the aerofoil, you can get around there nicely with that. So you can see all that. Okay, so um, once you've gone all the way around, just basically break it off. There or thereabouts. Okay, so that's your. That's how easy it is to get off. So I, I never worry about. Oh, it's going to take time to to get the raft off. I just, you know, especially with ABS, just stick it on there. It's even a mill thick. You know, it, cut, it cuts off really, really easily. Next, we need to just get out all the um, supports. Because I use uh, Simplify 3D for my slicing. It's very, very easy to remove. Let's see there. Okay. Comes out most of the time. It comes out in one piece. Oops. Obviously, you know, take a bit of care when you're doing this. Um, in that, any scratches you have, um, you're gonna have to repair and sand out on the mold. So obviously, take a little bit of care. Okay, so. This one I didn't actually slice correctly, this part, but I'm going to still use it. Um, it was the first part I did where I did like a, um, a multi sort of infill on the inside, and the first part of the infill I called, I asked the software not to put any tops on it because the didn't want to top on the join with the two parts join. Um, and obviously on areas like this, it doesn't put a top on. You can see that, it doesn't put a top on. But I'm just going to fill that, that's not a problem. And again, areas like that, it's not so much because there isn't a top on, it's because that the the infill that I've had inside there um, is at 10% with a 0.1 um, millimeter layer height and it's very very difficult for it to to bridge that in like two passes as it works, so only two shells. Now if that, had, well, ideally what I should have done is run uh, the infill up to that point at say 20%, then change the infill to, uh, to 10% um, at 0.2 millimeters layer height for the rest. Um, so that's what's caused all this, all these holes here. So I'm not too worried about that. This is the inside of the wing. No one's going to see it once it's cast. Um, and everything else, geomet geometry-wise, is perfect. So I'll just do some fitting on that, um, and that'll be fine for for casting. So I didn't actually. Um, I left these infills in especially so I could show them on the video. So I've printed all the others and I'm just wondering if they're all going to, I'm going to have, going to have that problem on all of them now. But um, that's just, it just comes from experience. You'll, I'll know next time or two that I need to increase the infill on the, where there's going to be um, tops of surfaces. 
and I'm using uh, 0.1 uh, millimeter layer height. So it's just, 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 just managed to to get the top of that all right. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do some fitting on there. Not a big deal, not a problem at all. So we've got that off. Um, the next thing I do is very quickly. I've got a bunch of needle files. Um, I've got oh, what are these called? Um, Waddling files. Waddling file set. Uh, Ronsons. Um, I don't know. I think I paid about seven pounds for these. Really, really good set. Really best set I've I've had. Best. Uh, I think I got them from like a not a pound shop, but you know it's like a discount tool shop down the road in, in Birmingham. And um, they are brilliant. They're really, really good. So if you can find yourself some decent um, needle files, use them because they'll last. If you keep them clean, they'll, they'll last. And then I've got like a more traditional needle file set there, but I mean I, I more than likely use these ones, the coarser ones for the roughing out work. And then I'll just go on to the sandpaper um, drains. So just take a flat file, yeah, and just go around. Um, so what I'm looking to do is just take off any lip or hair. Hopefully, those who have never worked with ABS um, will see how nice it is to work with. You know, I remember growing up as a kid, um, everything coming out of China was plastic and therefore it's cheap. Yeah, so anything plastic. I was growing up with the mentality that anything plastic's cheap. Um, it's just funny now that um, I'm what 45 now, and I absolutely love working with this stuff. It's um, such a nice material to work with. Um, once you, you know, once you get get what it's about, really, it's, it's a great material to work with. You can do a lot with it, um, and I'm learning more and more, you know, every day. So, all right. So there we are. The first one sort of ready, well, you know, just cleaned up. Um, so that's the first sort of part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to skip through and do the rest of them, and then I'll get back. Okay, so I've done the first clean up, uh, part of the clean up, and as I've trimmed and filed everything. I've had a look to see areas that need to be repaired. Um, a slight crack over here that needs to be welded up. Got that big crack there that I've shown you before. It needs welding up. Need that, which I'll probably use a sort of car body filler for um, rather than welded. Um, and the same, same there. Um, apart from that, that's oh, kind of nice print. It's, it's one of those things that uh, ideally I would like to put perhaps another two skirts on, on um, two shells on there, so there's four shells in all, being as they are moulds. Um, but it just makes, and it, but printing at 0.1 millimetres, it just makes the um, print time horrendously long. Um, so, you know, it's a. Uh, you go way up the odds, um, and a little bit of repair. I mean, half an hour repair here is going to save probably about four hours worth of printing. So, as I get more experience, I'll um, I'll be able to sort most of these um, problems out right at the source. Um, again, this one we'll just use to practice on. I'll show you the um, repairing these cracks. Uh, this one's quite nice. Doesn't look like it needs anything. Turned out really nice. This one here, I found a little hole. Don't know whether you can see it. Just in, just in there. Oops. Just in there. Um, again, it's printed that way around. It's surprising because it's that's the orientation it was printed in. Um, so you know, so the print has come up. So that's technically at the bottom. Um, Again, I think that's just been caused because I've got the really big, um, really spaced out infill, um, the 10% infill. Pretty sure if the infill wasn't, was 20%, it would have uh, helped that. 
Class if I had had uh, perhaps a couple more shells on it, would have helped that as well. Um, yeah, it's uh, you learn it with every each and every print. Got a little crack here that needs to be repaired. Um, apart from that, it's good. This last one just a crack in the, the usual place, right where it's we got all the forces and tensions coming together. Let's see it moving there. Um, and that's a, that's a decent one as well. So, what I'll do is I'll set up the 3D pen and we can get repair and get welding. Right, see you in a bit.